little. I got one hike in in Rocky Mountain before they closed Rocky Mountain National Park, which I was glad. Oh, nice. How long, how restricted is it in Colorado right now? Are you guys no, like... Not as strict as Maryland is. Because you okay. guys have like citations out. And yeah. I mean, I haven't heard of anyone getting one, but yeah. We're not doing that. Um, I mean, I have a I have a letter from work saying that I'm essential, so mm -hmm. if I get pulled over, I at least have something, and I have my badge. But yeah, yeah, that's how. I know. I was like going to the grocery store the other day, and I was like, "What if they don't believe me?" <laughs> you know? And you so. guys are told to wear masks out in like the grocery store and stuff, right? Um, we, it's recommended. I don't know if it's like enforced. Like I went to the grocery store the other day cause I don't have a mask at home. So I'm like, I don't really know how to like get one to the grocery store. So, um, I went to the grocery store the other day and like, no one really said anything to me, but I would say the majority of people definitely had masks on. Yeah. Our governor said, I, again, I think it's more so recommended than, um, like enforced but mm -hmm. yeah like essential like if you're I, which I don't understand outside because it's not the CDC says it's not airborne but then who knows? Right. yeah I haven't gotten sick yet and I'm around it all the time at work so I know yeah they just started um enforcing it that we had to wear it in the hospital last week whereas before they were saying we weren't allowed to even wear them unless you we were like interacting with a patient that needed you know their standard precautions but we've been for about it's been about a month now where we've had to wear I mean, a surgical mask throughout the entire er um like all the time and then the only time we change our mask is when we go into a covid rule out room and then we put our mask in a brown paper bag, which is stupid. Um, and then we put our regular mask back on. To walk <laughs> but I think that's more so, so we're not getting other people sick. Because I bet you right now I'm probably carrying it. Yeah, that's what they were saying. It's not that it's going to prevent you from getting it because it's not filtered. But you could then potentially prevent yourself from spreading it to others. Yeah, so. Uh, all right. Kayla's joining us too. Hey, Kayla. <laughs> All right. And I know in the past weeks, like some people have like been joining in in the middle of like class or like a few minutes into it. So I'm going to just like mute everyone. That way when they sign on, like there won't be any sounds or distractions. But I think if you double click like on my screen, then it'll always stay as me as the main one. Um, just so you can see it, if that helps. Hey. hey, it's only us. Yeah, just the three of us, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it varies every week, and I think more people like I actually watch it it. on YouTube than like in person. I've seen a lot more people just kind of viewing it on the YouTube station, so yeah. But cool, all right, well. I was just telling Angela, I'm going to like mute everybody so that way um, when people sign on, it won't Hi, come Alex. away from it. Hello. But if you double, I just learned this today. If you double click on like my screen, I'll be the main screen the whole time for you. I don't know. Learning Zoom thing. So, okay, cool. All right. Well, I'm going to mute everybody. And we're gonna really get juicy into the hips today. I don't know if you guys have been feeling it, but since I have been like working in just at our kitchen table and on the couch, I'm really feeling it in the hips. So we're gonna get started in Supta Baddha Konasana today. So if you know what that is, you can get there. If not, I'm gonna show you how. I'm just gonna mute everyone. Um, okay. All right, so come to your mats. If you have two blocks or two pillows, you can bring those um, with you today. Um, if not, you don't necessarily need them or anything. We're gonna start in Sukta Baddha Konasana. So you're gonna bring the soles of your feet to touch and let your knees just fall open wide. And this is where maybe your blocks or pillows can come into play. If you have really tight hips, 
You can place your blocks underneath your thighs for more support. And then just slowly lower down onto your back. You can place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Option to extend your arms out to the side. Wherever feels comfortable for you this evening, just close down your eyes. And just take this moment to start to settle into your space. Let go of any thoughts that are wandering around in your mind. Just slowly let them drift off your mat. And then take this moment to acknowledge and just notice your breath. No need to control it. No need to change it. Just notice how it feels this evening. Are your breaths short and quick? Maybe you've had a high stress work week so far. Very anxious about what's going on in the world. Or maybe you feel a little bit more rested since you've been working from home and have a little bit more flexibility in your day. And you notice that your breaths are a little bit longer than they usually are. And take a few more just casual breaths on your own. Feel your chest rise and fall with every inhale and every exhale. And then we're going to start to control our breath. So take a deep cleansing inhale through your nose for four, three, two, one, let it all out for four, three, two, one. Another one just like that. Big breath in, fill up your belly for four, three, two, one. Breath out for four, three, two, one. Keep these elongated inhales and exhales throughout your practice, allowing your breath to guide you as we flow today. And then when you're ready, crawl your knees into your chest. Give them a nice little squeeze, maybe a little hug, rock your low back down side to side. And then extend your left leg out long in front of you. Kick your right leg up towards the ceiling, flex through your toes, and wrap your arms around your right thigh. Pull your right thigh into your chest. Feel a nice stretch through your hamstrings. If you're a runner like me, you might have really tight hips today. So no judgment and where your legs fall. Just feel that nice juicy stretch. As you inhale, lengthen and press your heel closer to the ceiling. And as you exhale, pull your thigh closer to your chest. Take one more inhale here. And then on your exhale, let your leg fall across your body. So your right leg goes over to the left. Maybe you use your left palm, hold it, your right thigh. Keep your right hip glued into your mat though. This is a nice IT band stretch from your hip wrapped around your knee to your heel. And just take a few breaths to no notice any tightness in your IT band. Send your breath there and release the tension. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, let your right leg fall all the way over to the right side. So long as there's not a couch or for a bed or anything in your way, just let it fall. Let gravity do the work and open up through your, the inside of your right thigh. Keep your toes flat left hip is glued into your mat. Take one more breath here. 
And then exhale, draw it back up to center. Bring both knees into your chest. Wiggle it out. We'll take it on the other side. So on your inhale, extend your right leg out long in front of you. And then exhale, kick your left heel up towards the ceiling. Wrap your fingers together around your left thigh and pull your thigh into your chest. Feel a nice stretch through your left hamstring here. Flex through your toes and send your heel up to the ceiling. Hold here for two more breaths. You inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, pull closer to your thigh. Nice juicy stretch. And then take one more inhale here. On your exhale, let your leg drift over to the right. Your left hip stays glued into your mat and then feel a nice stretch through your left IT band. Maybe you hold your left thigh supported with your right hand. Take one more inhale here. And as you exhale, let your leg fall open to the side. Keep your hips in line with one another. Support the weight of your leg with your arm. Breathe space into the inside of your right left hip. Keep your toes flexed through the left side. Right hip is glued into your mat. Take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, draw it up to the ceiling, both knees into your chest. And rock your back side to side. And then take a few rocks the length of your mat and make your way up into a tabletop pose. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. Move my blocks off to the side. Now when you're ready, extend your left leg out to the left side of your mat. So your left heel stays in line with your left hip. Your left foot is glued down into, your, into the floor. Take a breath in here, and then exhale, sit your hips back towards your heels. Feel that nice juicy stretch on the inside of your left thigh. You can crawl your fingertips up to the top of your mat for a nice stretch through your upper back with your head hang heavy. Breathe space into your left inner thigh. And then when you're ready, inhale, slowly rise back up. Bring your left knee in and then kick your right leg out to the side. So your right heel is in line with your right hip. Your right, the sole of your right foot is planted into your, into the floor. Take a breath in here and then exhale, sit your hips back towards your heels. Feel a nice juicy stretch through the inside of your right thigh. Again, crawl your fingertips up to the top of your mat, let your head hang heavy. And then on your next inhale, slowly rise back up, tabletop pose. Inhale, tuck your toes under so the ball months of your feet are on your mat. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back, heels to your mat, maybe walk your dog. This might be your first down dog of the day or the week. Let that feel good. Spread your fingertips out wide and rotate your biceps towards the top of your mat. Release the tension between your shoulder blades. Take a breath in here. Lift your heels up off your mat. And then exhale, release your heels back down to your mat. Shift more weight into your left palm. And then take a breath in. Lift your right arm up. Exhale, down dog, twist. Reach your right arm to your left calf, left ankle, left thigh, and send your gaze underneath your left armpit. Another nice IT band stretch here. Big breath in. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Release your right palm down. Inhale, shift the weight into your right palm. Lift your left arm up off your mat. Exhale, down dog twist. Reach for your right thigh or calf. Ankle with your left arm. And send your gaze underneath your right armpit. Take a breath in here. Exhale, downward facing dog release. Inhale, gaze between your fingertips. And exhale, slowly tiptoe up to the top of your mat. Ragdoll pose. Slight bend in your knees. Melt your torso over your thighs. Make that connection here. You can reach for opposite elbows and sway from side to side. Or interlace your hands behind your neck for a deeper stretch. Take this moment to allow any negative thoughts, words, or actions just drift off your back and then off your mat. Let everything go. Anything that doesn't serve you today. And then when you're ready, release your fingertips down to your mat. Heel toe your feet to touch. Micro bend in your knees. Inhale, slowly rise one vertebrae at a time. Release your shoulders down away from your ears. Breath in, hands rise high up overhead. Exhale, Samasitihi. Hands come to heart center. Gently blink your eyes shut. And take this moment in your practice to set your intention for class. Remind yourself what brought you here to your mat today. Whatever might be going on in your head, any stress, any negative thoughts, we often hold that stress in our hips. So allow this practice today to be used as a tool to release that stress and negative energy as we open up through our hips in practice. We'll seal our intention with one communal breath, deep, big inhale through your nose, breath in. Open mouth, exhale, side all out. Gently blink, open your eyes and release your fingertips down to your hips. We'll get started through a sunny flow. Breath in, mountain pose, hands rise high up overhead. Breathe here and take this moment to root all four corners of your feet down into your mat. Firm up on your thighs and then hug your belly up and in. Activate that core. As you reach tall through your fingertips, release your shoulder blades away from your ears. Take a breath in here. Exhale forward, full. Draw your hands through heart center. Hinge at your hips. Let everything go. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Draw your hands to your shins or your thighs. Hug your shoulder blades together. Big inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your hands and step your left foot to the back of your mat. So your hands are on either side of your right foot. Your right knee is directly over your right ankle. Take a breath in here. Exhale, drop your left knee, untuck your left toes. Inhale, crescent moon, rise, hands overhead. You can inch your right toes a little bit further to the top of your mat for a deeper stretch here. Hug your right hip back and send your left hip forward to square your hips to the top of your mat for a nice juicy stretch through your left hip flexor. Take a breath in here, reach your left wrist with your right palm, lift up, inhale, exhale side, stretch over to the right for a deeper stretch through your left side body. Breathe into this space, big inhale. Stay for your exhale, and then inhale, release, crescent moon, hands to the top. Exhale, forward fold, plant your hands and step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, low lunge on the right this time. Step your right foot to the back of your mat. Left knee over your left ankle. Big inhale. Exhale, drop your right knee, untuck your toes. Inhale, crescent moon, hands rise high overhead. You can use your hands for assistance here as you hug your left glute in, peel it back, shoot your right hip forward. Breathe into the front line of your body here. 
Take a breath and reach your right wrist with your left hand. Lift up and then exhale, side stretch over to the left for a deeper stretch through your right side body, right hip flexor. Breathe into this space, big inhale. Stay for your exhale and then inhale, release hands overhead. Exhale forward, fold to the top of your mat. We'll flow through that breath to movement. Now inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose from the top. Exhale, forward fold, let that go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, left foot steps back. Inhale, crescent moon rise. Exhale, gentle stretch to the right. Inhale, release. Exhale, forward fold to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, right foot steps back this time. Inhale, crescent moon rise. Exhale, gentle stretch to the left. Inhale, release. Exhale, forward fold to the top of your mat. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise so tall. Exhale, forward fold, release, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, left foot steps back. Inhale, crescent moon, rise. Exhale, gentle stretch right. Inhale, release your hands. Exhale, forward fold to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, right foot. Inhale, crescent moon, rise. Exhale, gentle stretch left. Inhale, crescent moon, release your hands. Exhale, forward fold to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank pose. Plant your hands and step your feet to the back of your mat. Nice, strong, straight line from your heels out through the crown of your head. Option always to drop down to your knees here. We're still working our core. Hug that belly up and in. Take a breath in, shift one inch forward, and then exhale slowly lower all the way down onto your belly. Extend your arms out long in front of you. And then on your inhale, lift your right arm and your left leg. Reach through your right fingertips all the way up through your left toes. Feel a nice stretch through and massage through your left hip flexor. Breath in, lift one inch higher. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lift through your left arm and right leg, opposites. Hold here, squeeze your right glute to lift your right toes one inch further. Stretch from your fingertips to your toes, big inhale. Exhale, release, let it go. Bring your palms back to your rib cage. Elbows squeeze up and in. And then press back up to your high plank pose, maybe on your knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Set your hips up and back. Take a big inhale here through your nose. Exhale, sigh it all out. Two more times, breath in, reset. Exhale, let it go. One more time, breath in, breath out. Moving into our Sun B series, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Your toes touch, slight like sliver in your heels, hinge at your hips, arms extend up overhead. Option always to bring your feet to hips with distance apart for a little bit more stability here. Squeeze through your glutes, engage your thighs, and then sit one inch lower as you shift more weight into your heels. Take a breath in here. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Pinkies in, thumbs rotate up to the ceiling, palms down to the ground. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, heart shines forward. Inhale, chair pose, hands up overhead. 
Exhale forward, fold, let that go. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, low lunge, step your left foot to the back of your mat. Now, if you have a block, you can place it underneath your left palm or your palm can stay onto your mat. Heel toe your right foot to the outside edge of your mat for a little bit more space. Inhale, low lunge twist, extend your right fingertips up high to the ceiling. Option here to open up through your right glute by pressing your right hand to the inside of your right thigh. Option always to drop to your back knee for more support and stability. Take a breath in here. Exhale, low lunge. Walk your right foot to the center of your mat. Lift your left leg back up, palms on either side of your right foot. Now this is gonna be a lot of core work here. We're gonna shift our weight into our right foot. Inhale, one leg and mount, and using that stability and balance, draw your left knee into your chest. Flex through your left toes, 90 degree bend in your hip, your knee, and your ankle. Root into your right foot. Hug your core up and then use your obliques to lengthen out through both side bodies. Take a breath in here. Exhale, figure four. Draw your hands to heart center. Left ankle comes on top of your right thigh. You can keep peeling your left knee to the back of the room or start to hinge at your hips and draw your forearms to your left shin for more, for, for more flexibility through your left glute. Breathe here, we'll hold for four, three, slowly rise into and one, inhale, one legged mountain, slowly rise. Another core work here, back to the beginning, exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot to the back of your mat, hands on either side of your right foot. Inhale, warrior two, spin all the way open here. Send your left heel down onto your mat. And as we work through opening up through our hips, peel your right knee to the pinky side edge of your right toe. Extend your arms out long. Can you sit one inch lower in your warrior two? Nice strong knees out over your right fingertips. Take a breath in here. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach your right arm to the top of your mat. And then send your hands to six and 12 like a clock. Right arm down, left arm up. Find that connection between your right arm and left and, and right inner thigh. Press them against one another to open up through your right hip. Keep stability through your left ankle. Option to extend or reach so your left arm extends up and over for a nice side body stretch. Hold here for one more breath in. Stay for your breath out. Inhale, reverse your warrior, left arm down, right arm up overhead. Keep that commitment in your right knee here. I know it's a lot of glute work here through our warrior poses. So strong, stay with it. Lift up and out through your right side body, big inhale. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your hands down on either side of your right foot. And then option here to take a chaturanga flow or step back into your downward facing dog. Listen to your breath, listen to your body. What is it that you need today? We'll meet in down dog to take it on the next side. Inhale, gaze between your fingertips. Exhale, step or Float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, rise. We've been here before. Again, feet can come to hips with distance for more support and stability. Squeeze your glutes, hug your inner thighs together. Breath in. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Send your fingertips to the back of your mat. Gaze is forward. 
heart threads through. And then inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot to the back of your mat. Again, heel toe your left foot to the outside edge of your mat this time. A block can come underneath your right palm. Inhale, low lunge twist. Extend your left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Maybe you drop to your back knee for support. Focusing on the twist here. Feel that nice stretch through your right hip flexor, left outer glute. Maybe you get a little bit more stretch by pressing your left thigh away from you. Stay for one more breath. And then exhale, low lunge. Walk your left foot back to the center of your mat. Retuck your right toes. Shift more weight into your left foot this time. Engage your core. You know where we're going. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Lunge forward and draw your right knee into your chest. Find stability. Root your left foot down into your mat. Tilt your right hip down in line with your left. 90 degree angle here, hip, knee, and ankle. Breath in. Exhale, figure four, hands to heart, right ankle over your left thigh. Keep your right toes flexed. You can stay here or start to slowly hinge at your hips. Forearms on your right shin here for a deep, juicy stretch. In the right side of your glute. We'll hold for four, three, slowly rise into, and one, inhale, slowly rise, one legged mountain. Exhale, low lunge, slow and controlled, tap your right foot to the back of your mat, hands on either side of your left foot. I'm gonna face the opposite direction now. Inhale, warrior two, spin all the way open. Peel, send your right heel down onto your mat and then peel your left knee to the pinky side edge of your left toes to open up through your hips. Nice strong gaze over your left fingertips. Lift your arms in line with your shoulders. Take a breath in here. Exhale, extend the side angle, reach, reach, reach as far as you can. And then six and 12, left arm down, right arm up high to the ceiling. Lift up more so than reaching down. Use your left side obliques to lift your body up. And then if you want that side body stretch, you can extend your arm up overhead. Nice stretch from your right heel out through your fingertips. Inhale, reverse your warrior, right arm down, left arm up overhead. Feel a nice stretch through your left side body here. Lift up and out of your right side oblique this time, big inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Yogi's choice to flow, down dog, chaturanga, step back, whatever's speaking to you today. Take a big inhale here through your nose. And then exhale, drop to your knees, child's pose. Toes touch, knees out. Rest your forehead down on your mat. Reconnect with your breath. Tap back into your intention. Remind yourself why you're here today. Notice all the stress releasing from your hips. Any negative energy just moving off your mat. Take two more breaths here on your own. And then on your next inhale, come back to a tabletop pose. We'll flow through one more sequence. Tuck your toes under, hips go up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog this time. Lift your right heel up towards the ceiling. Square your hips down to your mat. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot between both hands. 
And then you're going to spin your left heel down to about a 45 degree angle. So your toes point to the top of your mat. Inhale, warrior one. Arms extend up overhead. You can heel toe your right foot to the outside edge of your mat for more room for your hips. Take a breath in. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your low back. Inhale, puff up your chest, heart forward. Exhale, humble warrior. Drop your right shoulder, drop your head down, and then your right shoulder to the inside of your right thigh. Peel your hands away from your low back for a nice shoulder stretch here. Let your head hang heavy. Shake it yes, shake it no. And when you're ready, inhale, slowly rise, release your bind. Exhale, warrior two. Rearrange your feet so your heel is to the inside of the inner arch of your left foot. And then inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. Scrag your fingertips out wide. Take up so much space on your mat. Breath in. Exhale, horse pose or goddess pose. Bend into your hips. Maybe take a few, a little bit of movement here. Nice and juicy stretches, maybe some pulses. What is it that you need on your mat today? Just find some fluid movement. Take another breath in, star pose, rise. Breath out, horse pose, sit back in. And then bring your hands to the inside of your thighs. We'll take a nice stretch. So dip your right shoulder down to your mat, send your gaze over your left shoulder. Press your right thigh away from you. Take a breath in here, come back through center. And then exhale, dip your left shoulder down, gaze over your right. And then take a breath in, come back through center. Exhale, horse pose. Inhale, star rise. Exhale, warrior two, back to the top of your mat. Inhale, reverse triangle pose this time. Straighten through your front knee, like a reverse warrior, but it's a straight knee this time. Lift up and out, nice side body stretch. Big inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Cartwheel your hands on either side of your right foot. Back to where our sunny flow was. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Left knee into your chest. Hands up overhead. And then find some stability here. We're gonna move into our balancing pose. I'm gonna turn to face you. We're gonna come into extended hand to big toe pose. If you don't wanna come into extended hand to big toe pose, you are more than welcome to take tree pose today. But for extended hand to big toe pose, you can bring your hands to your knee and hold here, just working on balancing. Or you can bring your right hand to your right hip, hold. One step further, your left piece fingers wrap around your right big toe, your left big toe. And then extend your left foot forward out in front of you. Start to slowly send it over to the left side. Right fingertips can come out to the other side. Finding that strength in your glutes, lifting up and out through your obliques. Hold here for four. So strong for three. Last two and one, slowly release, come back through center, big inhale. Exhale, let it go, just wiggle it out, maybe circle through your ankles. We have one more side, so maybe back in your mountain pose, Tadasana, breath in. Breath out, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your flow to down dog. Maybe take a chaturanga or just step it back. We'll meet in our downward facing dog. One more side. Once you're there, inhale, three-legged dog on the left. Send your left heel high to the ceiling. Square your hip down to your right. 
And then exhale, low lunge, step your left foot between both hands. Inhale, or then spin your right heel down onto your mat, 45 degree angle. I almost missed a step. Inhale, warrior one, hands rise high overhead. You can heel toe your left foot to the outside edge of your mat. Peel your left hip back, right hip goes forward. Take a breath in. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your low back. Inhale, puff up your chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Release your head down to your mat. Glue your left shoulder to the inside of your left thigh. Let your head hang heavy. Taking yes to all the possibilities on this side. You got this. No to any negative thoughts holding you back. And then when you're ready, inhale, slowly rise. Exhale, warrior two. Rearrange your feet. Inhale, star pose. Heels and toes out. Take up so much space on your mat. Exhale, horse or goddess pose. Bend into your hips. Peel your knees to the outside of your thighs. Hands can come to heart center. We'll take a few dynamic movements here. Inhale, star pose. Lift up. Exhale, goddess pose. Squat. Inhale, rise, star pose. Exhale, goddess, horse pose. Two more times. Inhale, star pose, strong glutes. Exhale, horse, goddess pose. Last one. Inhale, star pose, rise. Exhale, horse, goddess pose. And hold for four, three, two, and one, inhale, star pose, rise. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through your left knee. Lift up and out, reach your fingertips tall to the ceiling. Breath in. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your hands on either side of your left foot. Last bit of bouncing forward here. Inhale, one leg is mountain. Hug your right knee into your chest. Again, I'm going to turn to face you. Find your stability. Find your balance here in your one-legged mountain pose. You can take tree pose. Otherwise, we're going to move to bouncing hand to toe pose, extended hand to toe pose. So you can bring your hands on the outside of your knee. You can bring your left hand to your left hip. Right piece fingers wrap around your right big toe. Extend your right leg forward, and then when you're ready, start to slowly open to the right side. Knowing that no two sides are the same, extend your left fingertips out long for the fullest expression. No worries if you have a bend in your knee, just play around with it. The focus here is on our balance. Hold here for four, three, two, and one, slowly release. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Wiggle out your ankles. One more flow from the beginning. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana, rise. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your flow to downward facing dog. Take a breath in here. Exhale, sigh it all out. And then when you're ready, inhale, three-legged dog on the right. Exhale, half pigeon. Right knee to your right wrist. Left, right foot to your left wrist. Flex through your right toes. And then take a peek. Make sure your left hip, knee, and ankle are all in line with one another. Throw your hips forward. You can always place a block or a pillow underneath your right thigh. Take a breath in here. And then exhale, start to slowly fold over your right thigh. Maybe you use your forearms as a pillow. Maybe you use a block. 
whatever feels comfortable in your body this evening. Sending breath to your right outer glute, your low back, and just slowly melting into your mat. Coming back to your breath, big inhales through your nose, fill up and send your breath to wherever there may be tension still holding in your hips. Big exhales out to let it all go, release that tension, that anxiety, that stress. Two more breaths here. Last one. And then on your inhale, slowly rise back up to your fingertips. Release any blocks that you have been using and step back into a downward facing dog. Take it on the last side. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Exhale, half pigeon, left knee to your left wrist, foot to your right knee wrist. And then again, straight right leg back behind you. If there's any space underneath your glute, place a block or a pillow there, maybe a blanket. Square your hips forward, big inhale. Exhale slowly, fold over your left thigh. Melt into your mat. On this side. So much unknown in the world today. You might have some feelings of anxiety, feelings of fear. stress and tension. And so coming back to your mat, coming back to your yoga practice, whether it's 10, 15, 20, 30, 60 minutes of practice, just taking the time to slow down your breath, reset your mind, and come back to the present moment, knowing where you are in these four corners of your space. Know that you're safe here. And while there's so much unknown out in the world today, know that your yoga practice can be practiced anywhere, with anyone, without a guide, by yourself, on your own, or coming to taking other classes online. Allowing those practices to guide you and bring you back to the present moment. We'll take one more breath here on the side, big inhale. Exhale, let all of it go. And then on your next inhale, slowly rise back up to your hands, release your blocks. Come back to your downward facing dog, last down dog of the day, breath in. Exhale, let it all go, come onto your knees. And we'll make our way onto our back to close off our practice. So press the soles of your feet down into your mat, hips with distance apart. Slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Let your head rest on your mat and then walk your heels one or two inches closer to your glutes. We'll just take one quick bridge pose here to reverse. <laughs> Release our glutes. So take a breath in. Exhale, press into your heels and the palms of your hands. Use your thighs to lift your hips up and out. Send your chest high towards your chin. Make room and space. Keep your chin away from your chest.
Turn your hips forward one inch more. Breath in, lift one inch taller. Breath out, let it all go. Hips slowly lower down into your mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock your low back down side to side. And make your way into a happy baby pose. Guide your hands between your legs. Reach for the inside or outside edges of your feet. Knees down towards your armpits. Open up through your inner thighs. Take two to three more breaths here on your own before we close off our practice in Shavasana. And then when you're ready, come to stillness, hug your knees back into your chest. One tight ball filled with so much love. Big inhale, tighten up every muscle in your body. Exhale, final Shavasana, let everything go. Extend your arms and your legs out long. Slowly release the weight of your body into your mat. Release the tension between your eyebrows. Allow your tongue to just fall up against the roof of your mouth. Come back to your natural breath. And we'll just stay in our Shavasana for a short minute here. But know that you're more than welcome to stay in your Shavasana for as long as your day allows and as long as your body needs. the weight of the earth fully supporting your body. And when you're ready, as I mentioned, feel free to stay here if you're not. But if you are, slowly extend your arms up overhead, point through your toes. Nice long body stretch, big inhale. Exhale, roll over to your favorite side, fetal pose, hug your knees into your chest. Use your bicep as a pillow and just take these final moments of stillness, final moments of time to yourself that you've dedicated to your yoga practice to just acknowledge your practice. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today. And then when you're ready, slowly rise up into an easy seat. You can place your palms face down on your thighs if you need grounding. Or if you need a little bit more energy today, you can face them palms face up. We'll close off our breath. Practice with one communal breath. Take a deep cleansing inhale through your nose. Biggest inhale yet of the day. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it all out, let it go. Bring your palms to touch, hands at heart center, and then rise your thumb knuckles to the space between your eyebrows, your third eye, the seat of all intuition. I thank each and every one of you for allowing me to guide you in your yoga practice today, this evening, wherever you are across the world. The light and love in me honors the light and love in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for joining. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Hopefully, it felt good in the hips. <laughs> You might be feeling it tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Yeah, have Thanks. a good night. Bye, you guys. Have a good night. Bye, right, you too. Bye, Kayla. Bye, Ange. Oh, and also, Kayla, or uh, Allie and Angela, if you guys want more of my sequences, they're posting them up on YouTube on Copper Mind Fitness. You can just, like, search my name and... I had, I've taught like two or three other classes if Kayla has to share those with you, but cool. I'll be here every Wednesday at six. It's the same. Can we share with other people too? Like, yeah, feel free to. Okay. Yeah. Yep, everyone can join. Awesome. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Jamie. Thank Kayla. you. Thank you.